Welcome to Hippocrates Health Institute. My name is Lindsay. You may have known me from other shows here. Uh, and we're doing our very first raw vegan mukbang. I'm joined here by my wonderful friend, Jermaine. Hi. Hi. We're going to be eating this amazing raw vegan food. I've been a vegan for just about 10 years now. And um, Jermaine isn't a vegan. I can hear you. <laughs> Thanks. <Yeah. laughs> So we're gonna enjoy this food. We're gonna have a conversation with each other, with you. And so, you know, come down, sit down for a meal with us, bring your own snacks, bring some tea, and uh, we're, we're gonna enjoy this food. Absolutely. Well, I'm starving. Are you hungry? I am hungry. I, I'm starving. So let's dig in. Um, we can cheers with our corn because here at Hippocrates, we don't drink alcoholic beverages. So clink, clink. <laughs> cheers to that. And uh, yeah, I mean, I'm excited. It's hummus today is our, our special side dish. So mm. I... I know hummus. You know hummus? I know hummus. Do you eat hummus in your regular life outside of Hippocrates? I do. How, uh, you know what? I'm going to be honest. Yep. People don't know this. I'm not a vegan. You told them. Mm -hmm. yeah. But what is the stuff that I'm getting ready to eat? Well, we have so many, so many exciting things here. Um, so we have some stuffed grape leaves here. Kind of a specialty here at Hippocrates. We don't have these often, but um, we have some of those today. It looks good. It has some wonderful raw vegan olives. Uh, kimchi, which is a fermented uh, cabbage. We have some carrots in there. Great for the digestive health. Um, Sprouts, which is our, our bread and butter here. I see that. Metaphorically, of course. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we have some radish sprouts, broccoli sprouts, clover sprouts. Wow. Uh, and of course, our amazing side dish today is hummus, which is raw vegan sprouted hummus. Uh, mm. Way better than your conventional store hummus. Right. I mean, I'm biased because I like the food here, but I think it's way better. Listen, I'm going by what you say. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> now, if I eat all this, will I be a sprout? You might, and you might be the strongest one. <laughs> Whenever okay. the kids ask, they're like, they're like, oh, like, why are you so tall? Why are you this? I'm like, it's all the sprouts that I eat. Yeah. I need to dig in on a little study. Okay. All right, right. let's get let's get to eating. All right. Um, the I want to try this hummus first. Yeah, mm. that's one of my favorite things. Mm. Now, when I first started working here. For some reason, yes. I didn't think that I needed to use a knife when I was eating because I'm like, oh, they're kind of tiny, the sprouts. Not that necessary, mm -hmm. but I struggled for so long. I just thought you were fancy <laughs> and you like knives and forks. And no judgment there. No. I, no I, judgment. I, I struggled without using a knife with eating sprouts <laughs> for the longest time. You know, I'm not judging you at all. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so listen, mm -hmm. this dressing here, these are, are these like the salad dressings mm -hmm. like, of some sort? This what one is they? a parsnip dressing. Ooh. And so we'll just, we'll put a little yes, bit. Yes, please. I'm just going to put it there because you can hybrid it with Ooh. your hummus and with your cucumbers. Okay. You know? I'm looking I'm gonna at the try sprout. it too. I've never actually tried this before, so hopefully it's good. The parsnip you have it? No. So good. I won't feel alone. Nope. We're trying it We're together. We're in this together. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's do it. I'm gonna put a little sprout on my uh, hummus mm. and then parsnip. Mm. I'm wild and Very crazy. Good. Look out. <laughs> <laughs> this wild man right here. Mm. World watch out. So You know what? Honestly, good. Good? Good. It's fresh, right? Very good. Um, so Jermaine, tell the good people of the internet what you like to eat on a regular basis. Mm. Like, okay. I mean, tell us the dirty things. So, I'm I mean, don't, tell you, don't hide. Listen, this is not for kids. Um, I eat, I like to eat fried chicken. That's right. And, you know, a little ribs and um, things that are they very not so good mm. but it's but. just what i eat mm -hmm. i've been trying to get off that because you know it's not healthy mm -hmm. but it tastes so darn good so <laughs> i don't know you gotta convince me this i mean i'm starting off really good i like this i like convincing people of things good so i mean the fact that hummus is here should be like at least 50% of the argument. I feel like you tricked me and you knew that hummus would get me in the door. <laughs> I did. <laughs> I mean, if, if I'm gonna trick someone, I'm gonna start with hummus, mm. you know? Absolutely. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I'm gonna have one of these grape leaves because this is the other 50% of the trick right now. I have been eyeing them. I'm gonna try one of these. These are? Grape leaves? They're 
just it's I, I like know. how you're doing the hummus on it. Yeah, it's it gives a touch. It does. <laughs> Here we go. Oh what is this? This is a drink. This is so good. It's a drink. It's trick. good. Oh. I mean, I'm just, this is... And there's no meat in this? No, no meat. Which is actually, there is uh, meat in some grape leaves out there that they make. Yeah. Yeah. Fun so, fact. Do you, I mean, is this how you eat all the time? How long have you been doing this? Um, so I've been a vegan for about 10 years. Prior to that, I was um, a vegetarian for quite a number of years before that. Uh -huh. But I made that transition, you know? And uh, I mean, I stopped eating meat in the beginning because I had a pet duck mm. that I adopted from the school bio lab when I was in, in school. Quack. And uh, <laughs> I realized one day that I couldn't eat my duck. And I knew that people ate duck. And I was like, I can never eat my pet duck. And I was like, I can never eat a pet cow. No. Or a pet chicken, or a pet. I could never eat a pet. So then I was like, I can't anymore. You know? I'm feeling bad. I have a dog. <gasps> mm -hmm. My God. Right? So just like. I'm not gonna eat my animal. dog. Never gonna eat my dog. No. No. Nope. It's honestly just something you're trying to get me into veganism because the way to my heart is this food. Well, I mean, the, the way to a lot of people's heart is food, I think, so. I'm working really? on it, yeah. So, I have a question. Yep. What's the difference between vegan and vegetarian? Mm. I hear it thrown around a lot. I don't know what it is. So, <laughs> beautiful question. So, vegetarians are the weak vegans, we like this. Ah, <laughs> excuse me, more. Apologize to any vegetarians I'm out kidding, there. I'm kidding, I'm <laughs> kidding. Um, so, the vegetarians will still eat eggs, they'll eat uh, dairy, they'll eat sometimes even honey. Uh, the vegans though, the vegans have no dairy, no eggs, obviously no um, animal products. Ah. But also veganism is, is also more of a lifestyle as well. So people who are vegan choose not to wear leather, not to have products with wool, things that have had animal testing. It's more than just the diet, it's the whole picture of, you know, your life and how you interact with your environment. That brings a follow-up question. Now that you've taught me, mm -hmm. so why are more people not vegan? I mean, why just stop there? Because I haven't gotten a chance to trick them yet. Mm. <laughs> Bring them to this lunch. Yep. <laughs> and they'll do it. Yep. And you know what? The big difference is too, it's like at Hippocrates, this is all raw vegan. So there's a difference too between raw vegan and vegan. I'm both, okay? I, I go to both sides. Talk more. Yeah. So now that we've got vegetarian, we've got vegan, mm -hmm. there's raw vegan now? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm big, following, I'm following. I took a big, <laughs> a lot of hummus on that last one. Um, <laughs> so yeah, raw vegan? is, you know, we focus on raw sprouted foods. Nothing's been heated over 115 degrees. Okay. We'll dehydrate some stuff, but, you know, we don't actually cook anything. We ferment our vegetables, or speaking of, I'm going to ask the country. Um, I was eyeing that too. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, so, yeah, we don't, so the thing is, is like the life force energy that is in raw foods, it's very dense. And so when you cook things, oftentimes you'll kill a lot of the good enzymes that are in the food for you. So mm. raw vegan food is exceptionally healthy, it's exceptionally nutrient dense. So I do a little bit of both. I do the raw vegan stuff. I do the regular vegan stuff. I mean, when I'm here, obviously I'm eating all raw vegan, but you know, on the weekends, go home, have a little cooked vegan pizza. Shame on her. You, Bad you have nowhere to talk, okay? Bad You're hey, learning. at least I'm open with mine. You're a sneaky sneak. She's a sneaky sneak. It's, it's so <laughs> vegan, you know, and it's delicious. So one of my favorite things to do, I think I'm in the business of tricking people, I think, is because whenever I go to a, a, an event with food, right. where you, like you bring a dish, you know, it's a barbecue, mm -hmm. it's friends having a potluck, I always make some delicious vegan thing. But then, like, I don't tell anyone it's vegan. So I'll just make a vegan lasagna. I'll put it out there with all the other food. And everyone's like, oh, oh, this is so good. Oh, all of a sudden, Lindsay's lasagna is gone. What? And then, do you know what I do? What? It was vegan. Oh. <laughs> Call the guys from Catfish. Mm -hmm. We got one. <laughs> 
<laughs> we got one. <laughs> I'm gonna invite you to one of my family's cookouts. I'd love to see Grandma wolf down <laughs> some of that. <laughs> I want to see, no see Grandma wolf down anything. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. So I'm glad you're teaching me about this stuff because I don't know, and you know things I don't know I kind of stay away from. You know what I mean? It's just weird. So now that I know the difference between vegetarian, vegan, raw vegan, it's not so scary. Honestly, I just think you know I got to move out on a farm or something and wear hemp clothes. Yeah, listen. <laughs> It's just what you think. Everyone has their own journey. Right. <laughs> you don't have to go out to the farm, but if you want to go out to the farm, I mean, it's kind of funny. I don't know but it, it, you just hear, when you hear vegan, you hear extreme. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? That's what the mind gives you. So you're kind of like, now that you're talking about it, you're pretty normal so far. Besides the pizza thing. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Not so scary. Yeah, and um, also, I think it was in 2014, they said that veganism went actually mainstream in 2014. Mm. And so ever since then, there's been so many more vegans. I mean, if you're gonna go vegan this year, what a freaking year to do it. Because you go into the grocery store, there's all these vegan milks, there's all these vegan cheeses that are delicious. Back in the day, the vegan cheeses we had were trash. I mean, you might as well take some like plastic from the bottom of your shoe, slap on a sandwich, and call it vegan cheese. Back in the day. But now, there are tis on your shoe. <laughs> yes. They're delicious. delicious. <laughs> I was gonna say that. <laughs> Absolutely don't. So good. Such an easy year to be vegan, 2020. You new vegans are so lucky. I have to admit, I've seen a lot of my friends um, not do a great thing, but they've been switching from regular milk to like mm -hmm. soy or almond. Yeah. Those type of things. Little steps. Little steps. And they're like all over the grocery store now. All so over. you might have a point to this um, veganism becoming popular now. Oh, you know, the, the biggest dairy farm in the U.S. closed down this year because dairy has been in such less of a demand. You go to the stores now, it's about 50-50, plant milk and regular milk. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. So more cows are alive. Well, mm -hmm. thank goodness. That I like them. Less of them are I being like raised them. into the <laughs> dairy system. <laughs> I like cows. I like cows. They're very inquisitive creatures. Really? Yeah. I did not know that. I just like the way they mind their business. And <laughs> <laughs> they eat. <laughs> That's a life for me. I just want to graze all day and mind my business. <laughs> Works for me. It's your, it's your spirit animal, the cow. It is. I'm the cow. Oh. See, now you can never eat one again. Yeah. I just don't. <laughs> yes. <laughs> now you're making me feel bad. I'm not eating steak anymore. <laughs> Yeah, the four, <laughs> <What>? <laughs> those four chickens. <laughs> I don't know. The more we talk, we may have to save the chickens on me, okay? Yeah, I mean, the chickens. She's educating me, guys. I, I mean, knowledge is the, is the greatest medicine. I think so. Yeah. Like, honestly speaking, when I sat down, I saw this, I'm like, I have an open mind, but what is it? <laughs> and so now that I know what it is and what's attached to it and what the way of life, I don't know. I just had the most delicious bite. What did you, what'd you do? I had the hummus with some of the house dressing and an olive together. Are you holding now? Hand it over. Uh, I, I am. There you go. You got her. Being okay, a Lindsay. I'm going to call there's it some, a Lindsay. There's some olives. So, Ooh. yeah, I don't know why this tastes so delicious, but the olive, the house dressing, and the hummus together, wow. Say no more. I'm on my way. Mm -hmm. Here we are. Watch this. Mm -hmm. You're not the only one that can do a thing. Yeah. Watch this. <laughs> oh. Mm. Right? Absolutely. Mm. This is absolutely disgusting, the way you're changing me in front of my family like this. Good. <laughs> Grandma, we're waiting for you. Next oh time. Oh my God. Next time we have a mukbang, Grandma's coming. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Grandma, where are you Grandma, at? <laughs> you're on your way. We want to invite you here. Yeah. Come to Hippocrates. Come hungry. Yeah, come hungry. <laughs> eat some food with us. You know, grandmas are always the ones who are telling you to eat some more food. Right. Fill up your plate. Well, you know what? We're here to ask all the grandmas in the world. Come, fill up your plate. Fill up your plate. With goodness. I think she'd be down for it. Mm -hmm. We just won't tell her where we're going. Your plate's almost gone. What's going on? I mean, listen. <laughs> Girl can eat some food, okay? I see, where do you put it? So it's, I mean, the thing about raw vegan food is it just, there's so much hydration in it, so many nutrients, it just kind of all boils down there. You digest it in like 45 minutes. Oh my God. So quick. And um, I mean, I could, this, this will all be gone, you know, before. I see. Mm -hmm. So 
I mean, Jermaine, are you a fan of the Robbie you, Good Food? I'm still undecided as I stuff my face. Because mm. it's good. <laughs> but, you know, I mean, uh -oh. it's, I mean, this, this is good, uh -oh. right? Yeah, I know. that looks good. Okay. Oh. Mm. I think I hooked another one. I don't think so. <laughs> I need about free, more free dinners. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed um, eating some food with us. I mean, I enjoyed eating with you. I enjoy eating with you, even though you tricked me. I like it. Don't tell anybody. <laughs> <laughs> so we will see you um, at the next mukbang here at Hippocrates. And until then, check us out online. Come over. We're open. You can come eat eat lunch with us. Um, you know, I mean, I'll find my schedule. I may be working, but... Yeah. I'll eat with you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. We'll see you next time. All right. Bye. Bye. <laughs>